Zuma Radio, AM 740, downtown Toronto, FM 96.7. Glass Tiger there, a newly reimagined version of Diamond Sun. Uh, and we've been uh, very lucky to have our friend Alan Fru from Glass Tiger in this morning. And look who comes in after a two-hour commute. He's you, not a ghost. You're just being a rock star. Yeah, I wish that was. <laughs> but actually, I've been enjoying, uh, in traffic though, but really enjoying the program and hearing all these newer uh, songs for the first time on the radio. That's our friend Sam Reed from Glass Tiger. Uh, <laughs> Sam, it's good to see you, man. Great to um, see you. So listen, uh, let's, let's deal with uh, sort of the elephant in the room from one more perspective because we've talked with Alan and you heard about it about uh, what did you call it you you hit the you hit a goal post is that what you called it um, <laughs> yeah I had a goal post <laughs> yeah so I mean for you I mean you get the news that this is going on talk to me about about that day well it was certainly a wake-up call for everyone in the band and we're, we are so closely connected after 31 years that uh, we're kind of all joined at the hip and when my phone rang and it wasn't the normal voice on the other end, um, I, I knew immediately something was up uh, because we've been that connected over the years and, and I think we can almost finish each other's sentences at times. Um, so I, you know, yeah, we, we were all uh, so concerned and then I think I was probably one of the first calls and rushed down and, and delighted that he was all intact and, and uh, he was sitting up and kind of a little bit closer to himself but we knew he had a bit of recovery but what we were you know we were in good shape and and he seemed to be really motivated to to uh to get himself back on track which uh which at the time was our 30th and we said well the hell with the 30th we'll just why chase that let's right. just uh you know you give us a thumbs up when you're ready to go and uh, we're delighted that that that's now and how easy for the guys in the band as well when you've got a lead singer whose voice has aged so well <laughs> well i gotta tell you because i i alan and i work in the studio a lot together when he sing and, and this is something goes back to the to the first album even uh, all our records so when alan is ready to do vocals uh, him and i quite often end up just doing them together um, i'm i'm behind the desk doing a bit of engineering and 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 putting you know he's doing takes and I was just, um, you know, I mean, I've always known his strength in singing, but this album, uh, there was, uh, we, I mean, all the keys and, and the bridges and hitting high notes. And then, of course, he continues on and do it, does that live every night. So, and we're about to walk out and do 45 shows. So uh, we're pretty lucky that he's, uh, he's a pretty strong vocalist. Yeah. So a whole bunch of dates with Johnny Reed, yeah. who, who produced the record, too. Yes. Um, I'm tr I've, I'm at a loss for when the Toronto dates are. Uh, April second. one and second and third, I yeah. think, is at the Danforth yeah. uh, Music Hall. It's going to yeah. be such a good show. And then yeah. something we're very excited yeah. about too is uh, June the twenty third. June twenty third at Massey Hall, and that's Man. our first in thirty one years at iconic venue, of course. Yeah, we've never played it. Really? Yeah, yeah. just the way it worked the out highlight. back in the day when we came out of the gate. It, it was like the Kingswood and it was Ontario Place Forum and the gardens and stuff. Yep. And then we kind of missed Massey Hall and uh, and now we've gone full cycle and uh, Glass Tiger headlines Massey Hall June 23rd. Nice. Uh, the album's called 31. It came out on Friday and is so is available, as they say, at all the usual outlets. <laughs> uh, but glasstiger.com? No. Dot .ca. Dot .ca. Yeah, and yeah. I said alanfrew.com. It's actually, I've changed it. <laughs> I've changed it. It's alanfrewworld. Oh. Yeah. Dot. Dot com. Dot com. Oh, okay. okay. So alanfrewworld.com, glasstiger.ca for the dates and the album and where you can get tickets and all these different kinds of things. Um, I'm so grateful to you both for coming in. Sam, I mean, a two-hour commute to come in and say, That's okay. say hi for six minutes on the radio. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but both of you, talk to me about this last song that we're going to play because it's the one, it's it, Johnny Reed's on this one with you. I'll let Sam talk about it. Yeah, this this is an in interesting track because, um, so a friend, of, a friend of ours, Dave Lawler, a uh, great musician, great, great friend him and i had a monday night jam session and and he's from belfast originally and we we wanted to piece away uh, at, a, at a celtic sounding record and we had three or four songs in in the in the can and uh, struggling with some lyrics and but i really love the groove on this track so we handed it off to alan and alan just you know did his no normal uh, bits of magic and said i i've got it this song we'll give it a scottish title where your family way your family and uh, immediately loved the lyric and then it kind of sat in the uh in the sidelines for more than a year a year and a half and then when we sat there with johnny and we talked about the message on the record uh it just came back into my mind and i said 
you need to re-listen to this song we, that we wrote called Where Your Family because this fits the album perfectly with everything we talk about with brotherhood and friendship and family. So, uh, and that's how it resurfaced and, and it found a home on this record, which is kind of awesome. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Glass Tiger, Johnny Reed together. Guys, thank you so much for spending thank time. You. Thank Good you. Thank you so much. You.